Hello boys and girls out there in internet land, it's Roy from ANS Gear and we are going to look at a trigger for your CS2 today. So this is the brand new S trigger for the CS2. It is shaped like an S, hence the name S trigger. The other ones were flat, they call that a rake or just a flat trigger, whatever you want to call it for the original one right here. But this has a little bit more of a curved shape to it. And a lot of people enjoy that. They like that rake, or not the rake, that uh, scythe style, or they call this one an S trigger. So let's remove the old one and put the new one in. Very simple to do. Planet Eclipse really thought ahead, making the trigger removal very, very simple on these guns. So we're going to take our Allen key, we're going to put it in here. This is a 564th, I believe. All we need to do is just remove this pivot screw out of the frame. We don't need to take the frame off the gun and set that there. And with that pivot screw out, whoop, the trigger comes right out. Very, very simple. Now there's one screw that holds the actual trigger shoe to the, uh, the bearing carrier right here. And that is at the front. So we turn the trigger over and we look at it. There's a screw right here on the front side. We're going to undo that screw. Unscrew the screw. Once that screw comes out, we can now remove this cam that's inside here, or this cylinder, I should say. Now this cylinder has a hole in the middle of it, and that's what the screw threads into. That's what actually holds this, the trigger to the bearing carrier right there. Now you can adjust this, and you can move how the trigger sits on there and I'll show you how to do that by adjusting this piece in there. So set that to the side, remove our flat trigger, put our S trigger on. We're going to put our cylinder back in, making sure to line the hole up on the cylinder with the hole that's going to be coming through the front of the trigger so that the screw can go in. Let's tighten that back down. All right, so now you can see it's set right against there. And I have the trigger all the way back against the back of the bearing carrier right here. If I loosen this up just a little bit, don't take it all the way out, I can actually shift the position of the trigger and then tighten it back down again. And now you can see that it is no longer against the back of the bearing carrier. It's now forward, and that will change the overall position of the trigger inside the gun. So let's set it back to the way it was, which is how they come factory. They're all the way back. We'll put this back in. Our trigger pin back in, our trigger screw. All right, and you can see that's in there now. I want to show you the difference in how this looks setup wise from this position compared to moving it up. And tightening it back down. So you can see a tremendous difference in how the trigger is, is set on there. Now, I don't know if that's a comfortable way to shoot a gun. But that's you know, up to you, however you want to set it up. You still have <coughs> starting position, magnetic uh, return control setups right there. Um, so all the, all the stuff that you're used to with your trigger is still there. You still have the two adjustments at the front. You have the two at the back right here. This would be stopping position and um, spring position. Sure, not messing anything in. Yeah. So if you don't like the magnetic return, well, you can look at it two different ways on that return right there. So either you can look at the magnet as the breakaway strength, like how hard it is to pull the trigger to get it to come off that magnet, um, or just overall return pressure. But you also have a spring, a leaf spring inside here that's going to push that trigger back forward once you've pulled it. And you can control that too. So you can control the spring pushing it forward. You can also control when you're pulling the trigger, 
how hard it pushes against that spring. That's all with the same screw. And then at the front, you've got starting position and you've also got um, magnetic breakaway strength. So um, how hard it is to pull the trigger and get it to start moving. But also that magnet is gonna to wanna to attract and bring it back too. So you, they're working with each other. So you can you know, have one or all or none or however you wanna do that. So you've got those adjustments there. And then you've also got trigger position adjustment, which we just talked about, so we can change the, um, the angle of the trigger as well. So you've got tons of ways to set up this trigger and really make it your own, which is super cool. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I think there's six colors right now. Purple, silver, green, black, brown, and gray. So uh, at this point, there's a lot of colors. I'm sure we'll make a lot of other colors too. If you want something that's like teal or red or blue or something like that, I wouldn't say that's too far off. So um, uh, if you don't like, or you're just looking for something a little bit different than the flat trigger that comes on your CS2, check this out. This is the S trigger from Planet Eclipse for the CS2 only. It's the only gun that it goes into, so don't buy this if you have an LV-1 or an Eagle 8 or something like that. CS2 only, get it at ansgear.com.